Hi, I'm Emily Lapico, a product manager at Fulcrum. Excited to share with you some new updates that we have in Fulcrum uh, revolving around two major themes. One is usability and just general ease of use. And the second one is access to data. The first update that we have to share with you is scheduler enhancements. We're continuously working to make our scheduler more and more accurate as it pertains to the reality of your shop. Um, so in this release, we've integrated the scheduler more with status updates coming from the job tracker. Where this is important, for example, is if an operation is started earlier than scheduled in job tracking, the scheduler will understand that and will now calculate the new estimated completion time and date based on the new start time coming from job tracking. Another example of where this enhancement is useful is if an operation is completed in job tracking earlier than it was scheduled to be completed, the scheduler will take that operation off of the schedule and bump all the other operations up in the queue. So for paused operations, let's say that an operator is leaving for the end of the day, closing up on their shift, and they pause an operation before they leave the shop. That operation will then be the first operation for them to complete on that piece of equipment the next day, so bumping it forward. So all of these enhancements on the scheduler are really to ground the scheduler more and more into reality so that you have as accurate as possible of a schedule when you're doing your planning. The other reason why this is really helpful is because the scheduler informs the list of priorities that operators will see in job tracking. So this is going to help in improve the communication between production management and the operator so the operator knows exactly what to work on when they first come in in the morning. The next major update that we made is updates to the UI and job tracking. As you know, the priority order in which operators see operations in job tracking comes directly from the scheduler. In these UI updates, we wanted to make it as easy as possible for operators to understand what they need to work on next and then how to find it on the shop floor. As you can see with the job tracker redesign, we have updated the operation cards to really prioritize the most important information so that the operators can find the material on the shop floor. The next thing that we've done is we've simplified the filters so that they can quickly get into the operations that they work on and hone in on the equipment that they're working in. We've also added the ability to start and stop timers on the operation cards and quickly jump into any operations that they're currently running or paused in their personal profile. On the left-hand column, we have also added the ability to tab between statuses so that operators can get to the status that is most relevant to them. And we have also added new chat functionality. Chats are now organized by job, and it's easy to at mention your colleagues so that you can kick up a conversation about something that's important to you. We're going to be continuing to make these UI updates to job tracking over the next couple of months with the goal of making it easier and easier for your operators to input data that's important for you to run your business off of. The next update that we've released is the ability for you to download, make edits to, and then bulk update your price break and bomb and routing information directly in the platform. To access these data downloads, you go to Business Setup, Data Import, New Import, and then you can download the files under data downloads here, price breaks and bomb and routing. Included in each of these downloads will be all of your existing data in Fulcrum. And there's a tab for instructions for how to add, modify, change, or swap out any one of these line items. After you've made changes to your data, you can then drag and drop it into the import tool and all the records that you've made changes to will be updated in Fulcrum. The next very exciting update that we have for you is a sneak peek at what is coming next, a new shipping grid. We've been working on completely rebuilding our shipping grid from the ground up so that we can improve the performance of it and also the interconnectedness of the shipping grid to other parts of Fulcrum. The new shipping grid is faster and more performant and we've included some new functionality. We've added a status for packed so you can keep track of items that you've packaged but not yet shipped. We've also included a packed KPI at the top of the grid so you can easily filter on items that have been packed and are ready to ship. We've also added the ability for you to create multiple shipping records. Let's say, for example, a shipment is supposed to include three items, but only two of the items are ready. You can go ahead and ship out those two items and then create a new shipment for that third item and ship it out when it's ready. This enhancement makes it easier for you to keep track of what's shipped and what hasn't shipped.
The last big update that we've made to the shipping grid is the ability to ship from multiple lots, making it easier for you to trace your shipments. Thank you for tuning in to this Fulcrum in 4. If you'd like more details, please visit fulcrumpro.com and we look forward to seeing you next time.